Hibbing is a regional hub for public safety. To best serve our residents, community and region, the city has identified public infrastructure and public safety as a high priority of needs that need reinvestment. Our city faces significant challenges with the buildings that currently house our police and fire department. These buildings directly impact the effectiveness of our public safety services. We have a responsibility to provide safe, up-to-date and equipped facilities for our first responders so they can deliver the high quality, responsive services that our community expects and deserves. Our fire department operates out of a 60-year-old building that's deteriorating, has extensive infrastructure issues, and becoming very expensive to maintain. Our building lacks sufficient space for our emergency vehicles. Also, our vehicle bays do not fit a standard ladder truck. So the city has to special order a smaller truck, which comes at a much higher cost. The building also lacks sufficient room for equipment storage and training and does not have a dedicated gender specific staffing areas for sleeping quarters, showers or bathrooms. Our police department does not have a permanent location to call home. We currently rent space in a building owned by St. Louis County for about $70,000 a year, but our force has outgrown that space in every way. Our offices are makeshift and cramped, there's not enough room for evidence storage and equipment or for effective crime scene investigation. We also lack secure temperature controlled parking for our squad cars which can impact the technology systems we need to do our jobs. The current location does not adequately support our police officers in the service they provide to our residents and community. After nearly three years of research and planning, the City Council approved your safety, our priority investment plan. This investment would alleviate the maintenance costs associated with older buildings, provide adequate space for equipment storage, evidence storage, training, and personnel. A new space large enough to support our staff, vehicles, and equipment would allow us to enhance our service through technology improvements, training and collaborations with other public safety teams, and enhancing our service commitment as a regional safety hub. As our community continues to grow, so does our fire department and EMS team. We can't simply renovate our current building because the structural renovations are expensive and do not address the functional space we need to meet the growing needs and expectations of emergency services. A new home for the police department that can accommodate our personnel, equipment, vehicles and training and provide much needed crime investigation and collaboration space would allow us to provide our residents, community and region with the best service possible. With improved training spaces, we could facilitate joint exercises between departments, improve communication, and enhance our ability to respond effectively. Under run roof with the fire department, we could provide more coordinated operations that address the growing needs of the Hibbing community. The proposed investment for the new regional public safety center is about 29.6 million. The city has already secured 10 million in state bonding funds for the project and is actively pursuing grant opportunities to help fund the project and reduce the costs of taxpayers. This November, heavy residents will consider half percent local sales tax to fund the remaining 19.6 million. A local sales tax was chosen as it shares the cost between residents and non-residents alike who benefit from our public safety services. According to an analysis from the University of Minnesota, about 50% of our local sales tax would be paid by non-residents. When considering the state funds and non-resident contributions through the local sales tax, Hibbing residents would pay about one-third of the total project cost. The University of Minnesota estimates that on average, a Hibbing resident would pay an additional $31.06 per year in sales tax, or about $2.59 a month. If the city chose to use property taxes to fund the regional public center, the cost burden would have fallen solely on the Hibbing property owners. If approved by voters this November, the 19.6 million from the local sales tax would expire when the funding obligations have been met or within 20 years, whichever happens first. The city is committed to sharing information with residents to help them make an informed choice on election day. I encourage you to visit our dedicated website your safety, our priority, dot work, 
It includes information on the needs of our public safety departments, the plan to address them, the cost and tax impact, frequently asked questions, and much more. Please use the Connect form to ask questions or share your feedback with the city. Residents can also reach out to me directly. Make your voice heard on this important community decision. Early voting begins Friday, September 20th. Election day is Tuesday, November 5th.